the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Buffalo Bills and the Baltimore Ravens. And it comes your way next. With Chesapeake Bay gleaming in the distance, we are inside m and Bank Stadium near the Inner Harbor in Baltimore, Maryland. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it will be the Buffalo Bills taking on the Baltimore Ravens. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis on hand. Uh, this is a game where the defenses, they need to be on their toes because you've got quarterbacks here, yes, that can throw the football, but they can also run it very well, too. Mobile quarterbacks. Remember, for the longest time, they used to tell the quarterbacks, stay in the pocket. We don't want you outside of it at all. Nowadays, that mobility, truly an asset, and people are game planning for it. As a scout told me recently, we are actually working with what the colleges are giving us nowadays. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And off we go from M&T Bank Stadium. And no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Out comes the offense for the Bills, led by their quarterback at six foot five. That's Josh Allen. I remember when he came out of Wyoming, the big question mark, could he be accurate enough to be a star in the NFL? I think it's safe to say he's put all of us in our place and put those doubts to rest. He can roll out and run it. He can bomb it over your heads. Everything in between he is an absolute nightmare for defenses to try and prepare for. And when he's on, he's an MVP caliber player each and every time he takes the field. Allen going to look to throw on the first play. And this intercepted on the first play of the game. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. Wow, just one snap in, partner, and the complexion of this game has already changed because for the defensive side, they just handed their offense a short field and a big early advantage. And even though it's only the first snap of the game, we're going to look back on this one and see if it has lasting effects as this game moves on. Here comes the Ravens on offense and the man in charge from Louisville, the former MVP, Lamar Jackson. And what he's thinking about right now is first down, let's find a way to make a big play. Because when you get a sudden change situation and that defense has to rush onto the field unexpectedly, you might catch them having a defensive breakdown or not quite prepared. And it was really sudden after the first play picked off. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll start out here with the option left. And he'll get this down to about the 30, 31 yard line. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. On second down, Jackson. And this one too low. The turnover put them in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. you got to cash in and get some points. So they've been unable to capitalize on the great field position as of yet. Here's third and nine. Now it's Jackson. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. After getting that turnover on the first drive of the game, you'd hate to just stall out the momentum, go three and out. They're able to avoid that there. And we talk about complimentary football all the time, but I think it's a little bit deeper than that. Defense went out, forced a turnover, gave the ball to the offense. It's now the offense's responsibility to pay that off for them. To show respect to them. Hey, you guys got the turnover. <laughs> we appreciate it. They want to continue their drive. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and it's second down.
Jackson going to give this one to Edwards. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Gus Edwards taking it in from seven yards away. And the Ravens take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. Did my eyes deceive me, or was that an eye formation play that was just run there for a touchdown? A little old school eye. How about that? Was that a fullback, tailback, running it into the end zone? Well, that's what that fullback's for, right? That's why you use that, let him pave the way. Oh, without a doubt, he's an extra blocker, and he did his job well on that play. Tucker with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. Touchdown. And from the end zone, Deontay Hardy will bring it out. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. Well, partner, not exactly the way they drew up the start of this one, but a chance to redeem themselves and hit the reset button here on their second possession. And I do like that word that you just used, reset, right? In a lot of ways, it's just shaking off what happened before starting fresh almost like it's your first drive all over again go out and put your best foot forward they go back to the air here after the int on the last drive and down he goes but he takes it up to the 40. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Well, maybe that'll help him settle back into a groove after the interception on the first drive here, picking up the first to start drive number two. And it is just starting over, isn't it? Sometimes it's just how you have to do it. You have to erase things from your mind. Don't worry about what happened before because over the course of a game, the good players, things turn out pretty well for them, and that's what he's trying to do here. Another first down there as this one goes for 25. And that's how you shake off the interception you threw on the opening drive, come back and throw another strike and gain nice yardage. And I give credit to two people on this one, the man throwing the ball and the person calling the plays. They're not shutting him down early in this game. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. To throw, it's Allen. A quick throw going to be caught by Diggs. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 11 more on that one, and another first down. Well, so far, a little to no resistance by the defense on this drive alone. Three passes, three completions, three first downs. They're taking it to them, and it's paying off. Allen to throw once more. Throw out wide is incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. Here's second and 10. Allen now looks to throw. Works right side into the hands of the tight end, Knox. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. First time they've hooked up here. Good for 17 and a first down. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taken them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up with a first and goal. From the gun, it's Allen. This is caught. A gain of seven that time. Second and goal. Now Allen again toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Oh, they were so close. That close to their first points of the game. Just needed to hang on just a second longer, but he couldn't complete the process of the catch through the jostling from the defender. Third and goal now, mere inches from Pater. 
Allen going to try and keep it. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. They were ahead of schedule after the gain of seven on first down, but the defense does not budge on second and third. Boy, you know, some plays you can just sort of tell they're not going to work from the start, and that was one of them right there. Yeah, I mean, he had every option taken away, and so all that was left for him to do was to try and keep it himself, but even he knew that he had nowhere to go. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Buffalo. Reggie Gilliam taking it in from a yard out. And the Bills' decision to go for it pays off with six points. I saw you nodding your head in approval. We're not in the late stages. This isn't the fourth quarter, but the decision to go for it, a good one. Yeah, I like it, you know, a lot of times early, too, because it sets the tone for what you're going to do throughout the ball game, and it tells your team you're planning to be there to be aggressive, and you're planning to win the game, and sometimes they come along with your thinking. And they only had one yard to go, and they got it in. An extra point by Bass, up and good, and we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Baltimore set to take over here for their second possession of the game. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive that they watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, one big play, though, gets them right back up to that level. A first down run, good for about three. Second and seven coming up. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal... Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Here's Jackson to throw. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Now Jackson. They set up the screen to Hill. And he'll get this to the 23, but that'll be well short of what he needed. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. Jordan Facing fourth down, Baltimore will punt. Jordan Stout out there. Deontay Hardy back deep. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. They juked him. It's a 46-yard punt, two on the return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and ten. Back now on offense, the Buffalo Bills. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. Tackle there by Michael Pierce. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. From the 31, here's the second and nine. Here's Allen to throw it. And he will find Davis. That's complete. That'll go for a gain of seven. And that's going to bring up third and two. And 
They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And now off to the races down the right side. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, that's one of the main responsibilities of a safety in any defense. A long way downfield before he's able to corral him, but that's why you have him on the field, the last line of defense. He made the play. I don't know if it'll be remembered. They're probably so mad that the run went for that long. Wonder if they were thinking pass in that situation as opposed to run and being caught a little bit out of position. Fortunately, he's able to track him down. That's quickly out wide to Davis. It'll go as a gain of four, and that's going to bring up second down. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six at the Ravens 39 yard line. Let's go, boys. Allen going to throw. This throw incomplete, nearly picked off. And with his pedigree, he doesn't drop many of those. But third down coming up. And that, very nearly a second interception of this first quarter. He's been really loose with the football, and that's going to need to change as this game moves along. Throwing his Allen on third. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And that could be one of those turning point plays in a ball game. A field goal gets you the lead here, but they want to make a statement and get six points. And they're certainly going to get that opportunity as they get the conversion and set up first and goal. They'll run with Cook. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. That gets him three yards closer here as it brings up second and goal. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. They try again with Cook. And they get him down at the one. He had the broken tackle, but ultimately could not get into the end zone. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Cook. Diving for the end zone, and he is in. Touchdown. Well, he'd been the workhorse on this drive, and it would have been unfair to bring someone else in to finish the job. So they go back to him again, and he delivers with a touchdown run. Bass on for the extra point. It's up and good, and it's 14-7 now here in the first quarter. That time, a nine-play drive. And it was James Cook capping all of that off with a touchdown run. to the touchdown bass to kick it away and Hill will opt for the touchback now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field now these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance they couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goal post Charles we'll see if they can get a better more sustained drive going here yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 
Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. He's settling in nicely here in the first quarter running the football. Remember, he already has the touchdown run. And you can feel the vibe, can't you? He's in unison with his offensive front. They are in concert together. So if you're flipping over to the other side of the line of scrimmage, they've got to be more physical and handle some of these gaps that have been created. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. And Oliver through the line and hitting him for the loss. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. To throw is Jackson. That's for Bateman, and it's intercepted. Rasul Douglas picks it, and the return here is stopped at the 35-yard line. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And they'll have good field position here following the interception and a chance to build on their lead as they start with a first and ten. So after the INT, it's Allen. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. Second and 10. To the air, Allen. Setting up the screen for Cook. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. It's a gain of 13 and a Buffalo first down. They ran that one well, and not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. Allen now on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. Now a second and ten. Throwing now is Allen. And Cook has it, left side. A minimal gain as we tick down inside of a minute remaining in the opening quarter. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Here's Allen. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. First down, here's the run with Cook. And he'll take it into the end zone for a bump touchdown James Cook with his second touchdown in this opening quarter and the Bills go up by two touchdowns boy still in the first quarter and look out I mean they are on pace for over 80 points in this game I don't know that they'll get there CD but this has been impressive to watch so far that certainly would be history in the making wouldn't it partner I'm glad we're here to actually watch and see if it actually happens although like you, I have my doubts, but they are firmly in control of this game. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And it's now 21-7. A pretty wild first quarter. 21-7, our score. The Bills with the football as we start quarter number two. As they've got it as we resume action.
Here's Bass now to send it away. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive, in particular if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. And they run with Edwards off the option. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. A yard all they need, but it's third down. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. The quick feet by Jackson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Nice pickup. Ten yards and a first down on the keeper. Well, partner, for a few years there, we thought this read option play was going to take over the whole NFL. It seemed like everyone was using it. But it has been scaled back considerably in the last few seasons, mainly because people are worried about their quarterbacks getting hit. But when you call it at the right time and you use it properly, you see the type of gains you can get. A nice chunk of yardage there by the quarterback. So the completion good for seven there. And that'll bring up second down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Now an option play on second down. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. The Ravens on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. They'll try and run for the first with Edwards. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. A three-yard gain and enough for the first down. We all hope to have a home run hitter in the backfield. Guy can take it the distance. But a short yardage trying to pick up first downs. That big guy, always oh, a nice luxury to have, isn't he? They'll go back to Edwards on first down. He's got it to the 43 here. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. From the 43 here, second down and eight. Jackson, options out left. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. Now a pause, and there's an injured Raven in need of some assistance. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. So they need six yards here on third down. They're two for two on third down tries so far on this drive. Here's Jackson. That one into the hands of Flowers. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. Receivers love having the reputation of being go-to guys on third down. And he was fighting like he really wanted to have that reputation, didn't he? I mean, he came very close to making that a first down. Broke the one tackle, but couldn't spring himself free. Needing the tough yards, they run it with their fullback. And he is going to have a Ravens first down by a good couple of yards as they get three there on fourth and inches. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. 
So this offense able to convert on fourth, and now a fresh set of downs here, first and 10. Jackson. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Off the draw, here's Hill. And he struggles to get a yard here, maybe a yard, down at the 31. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Now they gotta get to the 23 here on third. Throwing is Jackson. That is caught, and he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. First catch there for OBJ, and that good for a first down. And as a quarterback, you always want to exploit gaps in the defense, and he finds one here. Crossing route, working from right to left across the field. And once you get defenders going in the wrong direction, it is awfully hard for them to pivot back, and you end up getting the first down. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Off the option, here's Edwards. And he'll take this one inside the 10, down to the 8. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Play action. Now Jackson. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Lamar Jackson, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Ravens have cut it back within a score. Well, this defense, so many things to worry about in the red zone area, but you'd have to almost think that Lamar Jackson running the football, that might be number one. It should be number one. And in this portion of the field where things shrink a little bit because the receivers can't run past anyone because they'll run out of real estate, you should have all eyes on Lamar Jackson when the ball is snapped and try and keep it back in the pocket. Yeah, I don't think that they were surprised he was running it there. They just couldn't stop him, and he ends up in the end zone. touchdown and there will not be a return here it's a touchback and it'll come out to the 25 yard line but James Cook in the Buffalo offense returning to work now he's over 40 yards here in the second quarter been nice and effective for them hasn't he he has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards You've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Allen. The left side caught by Diggs. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Now he may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive. Good for 15 and a first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Ball placed at the 45 for second and five. Now Cook, he's got it off the draw. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second.
The Ravens bring out an extra defensive back here on third. Now Allen. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 32-yard line. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards to play. With the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep at the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. On play action, Allen. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it, and it'll be second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Second and nine. To throw, it's Allen. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Have to give some credit to the defender on that one. He read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. And this offense on third down today, they have been superb. Five for six to this point. This is third and nine. Allen. And that ball incomplete, nearly intercepted. Took a chance with that one. It'll lead to a fourth down. That is certainly one way to frustrate a quarterback. Run those extra defenders on the field. Dime package, lots of speed, no space to fit in the football. The kick by Bass is good. And the lead works its way up to 10, 24-14. So that one on target, and it adds to this first half lead. And maybe we're too early to worry too much about one score lead, two score lead, et cetera. But this is where you kind of start banking those points that come in helpful later on. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. And this taken in at the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The Ravens ready to take over. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they look up, and they're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. Yeah, and I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far they are down on the scoreboard, but to just remember the last drive and how it ended. Go ahead and try and repeat that. Then you can look at the scoreboard and see where this game is. They'll run with Edwards here to begin the drive. Now the ball comes loose. Now this is picked up by the Bills. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. Do you remember in preseason we were going to the different training camps and visiting teams, and we always would see the running backs working out and going through those gauntlet drills yep. and, you know, guys either slapping at the ball or the machines? you got to learn to take care of it. Yeah, they lost it there. Big fumble. James Cook running back out now. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. He doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back, and that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. And the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. 
Out of the gun, they give to Edwards to about the 35, second down. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. And they'll come up second and seven. Again, it's Edwards. That's a good acceleration there as he's across midfield in the 48-yard line. 50 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. Now they go screen, it's complete. And he'll get it down here to the 43. The first down screen pass, good for five. Boy, that one was well read defensively. And this is all about diagnosis as a safety and being decisive because he saw it setting up in front of him, able to knife through there and make the play. Second and five. Jackson. Over the middle to Beckham. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 26. 16 yards on that one and a Raven first. Well, that certainly has to feel good. That's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. A first and 10 here. And, you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. A good pick up there, a 22. Just picking up yardage in bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they can be set up with a first and goal. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Here's Jackson to throw. Got a man, it's caught for a Ravens touchdown. Charlie Kohler from four yards out. And the Ravens get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. These two teams in this first half, it's been fun. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, it's not fun for the defensive coordinators, <laughs> but offensive coordinators are enjoying it. Yeah, they're having streaks here, aren't they? Being able to put scores together and, and really bunch them up, and we have a tight game here. You know, we often talk about having the right shoes for the right turf. Today is track shoes, because that's what we've seen with these offenses. Yeah, it's been an absolute track meet so far. Fun to watch. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and that cuts the lead to three, touchdown the return man down to a knee and this will come out to the 25 yard line here's Stephon Diggs as he and the rest of the offense get ready to go again making his presence felt early in this one first half already over the century mark how about the yards per completion too that's a pretty darn good number there number of catches but he's shredding defense is getting big yardage with each and every one of them just over 30 seconds to go in the half. They've got it first and 10. Allen now looks to throw. And Diggs has it. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. It's a gain of 13 and a Buffalo first down. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. A final shot before half for Allen. He's got this one complete to Sherfield. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath. 
as we get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! Okay, Brandon, thanks very much, and welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios and this EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw some strong work from James Cook in that first half. He chipped in a couple of touchdown runs as he was running with determination right from the word go. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. These offenses have been in fine form. What will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three? And no fireworks to start the half. This will be a touchback. The Raven offense set to start this third quarter. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. They'll start with the option. And they're able to get this one across the 35. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. It looked like almost a miscommunication defensively because once he decided to keep it, he had pretty smooth sailing. Yeah, it became a question of, wait a minute, who's got the quarterback? And when you talk about miscommunication, it's supposed to be called assignment football on the defensive side of the ball, but the assignment gets mixed up. That's the end result. It'll be a gain of five at its second down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred the defense. That was an okay hookup there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. This now a third and four. Now it's Jackson. That quick throw there is incomplete. And so many times we look at the opening drive of the third quarter as a tone setter, and many coaches do emphasize it. And that's a strong performance there defensively to force an incompletion, and more importantly, force a quick punting situation. The Ravens send their punter out now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. So here's the Bills offense. Now they get ready for their first possession of the second half. We've got a close game. The offense has played well, but right now they've got to keep their foot on the gas. And that carries with it an extra bit of pressure, doesn't it? As much fun as they're having right now, they're locked in, really clicking on all cylinders. They also know that if they ever miss a chance to put points on the board, they've actually put their team in jeopardy. And that's not how you want to play the game. It's supposed to be complimentary football offense, defense, but today it's all offense for them. Yeah, they've been playing with a sense of urgency. It's probably going to need to continue. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. Now Allen. Caught right side, Davis. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Four yards to pick up, first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there, keeps the sticks moving. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33.
They'll try the middle with Cook. And he's going to have a Bills first down as good running gets him to about the 44. And we have an injury on the play, and uh, it looks like the running back, James Cook, is the one who's down. Well, hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. for the first time with a backup Murray and a good pick up there he gets about six up to midfield well you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace this is ball control football sustained runs taking their time and making it work ball right on the 50 yard line here's a second and four from midfield here's Allen Got it complete to Khalil Shakir. First target, first catch at a first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle, it doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Second down and a yard. Back to the ground game, here's Murray. And he'll go down at the 28. Four yards the pick up, first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. Allen off the play fake. And he's taken to the ground, but he was pulled down by the face mask. Here come the flags. And I believe this is going to be a first down. Hey, baby, this ain't good enough for us. So a potential big play by this defense wiped out by the face mask. And disappointing because it was so unnecessary. They had the sack. But the officials are definitely keeping a close eye on the quarterback, especially the referee. They were able to spot that one immediately. Cook following the penalty. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. From the 20, here's second and nine. On play action, Allen. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. It'll be a gain of eight yards, and that'll make it third and one. The defense did its job of taking away a quick throw, but that's only half the battle because they've got to get to him before he can make a run for it. A little bit late containing him there, so he makes a nice gain out of a play that looked like it was in trouble. On third and short, they'll try option left. And he has the first down before he's tackled at the five. Give him seven yards on the play as they do pick up the third down conversion. And this is one of those plays that if you can use it to keep the chains moving, it's a good play. And not only that, it tends to tamp down the pass rushers because they have to recognize this play and stay at home. The quarterback uses it well. Read option, keeps it, and picks up a first down with some nice running. It'll be a gain of five there as they move closer. It's second and goal. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Again, it's Cook. And good work there defensively as they're able to keep him out of the end zone. 
The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. And now third and goal coming up, the loss on second down. That just means this crowd's going to get even louder, and they'll get a little bit of extra help from the defenders as they exhort them to join them in the effort. Allen now on third and goal. And that is caught. Touchdown, Buffalo. Gabriel Davis, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Bills are able to widen their advantage. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give them a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. to the touchdown Bass to kick it away returning it Justice Hill and the tackle going to be made right there at the 25 yard line the Ravens offense back out there the last series form a little disappointing forced to punt and now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive first and ten Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The drive starts with a carry by Edwards. That's to about the 28, second down coming up. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while, get at least two first downs, give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Jackson now. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. And this pass broken up. Well, the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. Good clean play, no flags coming out of the pocket of the officials. Turns into an incompletion, and that should get them off the field with a three and out. The Ravens send their punter out now, as he'll come on to kick this one away. On the return, Hardy. Call that a 46-yard punt, though they did get nine back on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. Here comes Josh Allen and the Bills offense back onto the field. And he had the touchdown on the last drive, also four for four. Very, very effective. What does he need to do to translate that forward into this drive? Not think that what he saw in coverages last time is exactly what he's going to get again. He's got to play ahead and start, and start thinking to himself, okay, we just did that. What are they going to take away now? What do we go to as a counter and continue to encourage his offensive line to continue to give him time? They were really good on the last drive. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. 66 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. But no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Ball on the 39. Here's second and three. Here's Allen to throw it. He's got the hook up with Diggs. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. 22 yards there, a first down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode 
Really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. And we're in Baltimore, third quarter action, second and 10. So the shotgun snap to Allen. Looking on the out route, he finds Shakir. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 28. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Throwing on first down is Allen. To the sideline, and that is a heck of a catch as he was able to get both feet in. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. Up the middle, it's Cook. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. That was a really nice play, be able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got to, he's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner. Filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one-yard gain. On second down, Cook. And he's going to pull his way down to about the one-yard line. Give him eight yards there. Still a few inches to go, though, as it'll be third down at about the length of the football. This will be the eighth play of the drive, and it's third and inches. They'll run it. Here's Cook. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. One yard is the gain, and the Bills are going to have it first and goal. Well, this has been a long drive. In fact, it's eaten up a good chunk of the third quarter, which is precisely what you want when you're playing with the lead. You control the football, you control the clock, and impose your will on the defense. Throwing now is Allen. That escapes the sack. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Josh Allen. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Bills are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, as one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. The extra point by Bass. Up and good. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And he'll going to sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand They've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. The short one there caught by Likely. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Brings up second and two at the 33-yard line. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in Baltimore. 
Here's a second and two now from the 33. It's the Ravens with possession of the football, but trailing on the big board as we get set for the fourth. Meanwhile, Jackson's throw is on target to Likely. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. I like how he hung in there and went through his progressions, but eventually his internal clock went off and told him it was time to make a run for it, and he ends up sliding down with a solid gain. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Throwing is Jackson. And his throw is incomplete. Oh, I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Here's Jackson. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. And now offensively, it's third and 10, and I'm just thinking to myself, actors always say, what's my motivation before a big scene? Right now, the play caller's thinking, what have I done before that's worked well that I can go to right now? Yeah, because they were pretty successful in the first half scoring points. Haven't done anything so far here in the second half. On third down, Jackson. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 21. A big one there for the Ravens. It goes for 18. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where as coaches, you're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. And they're at the point of the ball game now where they've got to take some chances. They've got to put the ball in the air and just see what happens. But this defense knows that all too well. Now Jackson on second down. Had his hands on it, but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake. Third down. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense, they're just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. And Jackson throwing once more. He's got his target. That's complete. And all the way down inside the five to the four. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss. And this is caught. Touchdown, Baltimore. Isaiah Likely from four yards out. And the Ravens have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good, CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you kept them out of the end zone there, this game's over. You've locked the door on them. Instead, it's still open a little bit, and they've got a puncher's chance. Tucker with the extra point, and the lead is trimmed down to 10. So the drive goes 75 yards, 10 plays. And finishing that drive off was the touchdown grab by Isaiah Likely. Justin Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. 
This fielded right at the goal line. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. The Bills ready to take over. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. They begin the drive with a run by Murray. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. So fourth quarter, a nice run there to start this drive. Charles, what do you think the split will be here between run and pass? Well, partner, I think it'll lean towards the run, but this is also not a time where you just totally do that. You still have to possess the ball, move the sticks, and keep the clock moving as well. So they'll run their offense, but yeah, when they have a chance to run it, they'll do that a little bit more. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. So five yards here, five on the play, and that'll make it second down. To throw, it's Allen. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. Stephon Diggs, his intended receiver, and it's third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Allen. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. Here's the punter, Martin, now to kick it away. This is taken at about the 14. So a good punt there, but a nice return of 11 yards. And the Ravens, they'll take over. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. Well, still a long way to go, but trending upward. They scored the last time out, you remember. Then their defense forced the punt. Now they try to inch closer, but still ultimately down two scores in the final quarter. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. I think they want to start getting back into this game. It behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. To throw is Jackson. Setting up the screen here to Edwards. So the screen good for only two. Now it's third down. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard, had to figure they were expecting a pass downfield. Yeah, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right. Good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. The offense on third down, they're hitting at 60%. Six out of ten thus far. This is third and seven. On target to his man, likely. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. Only able to gain a couple there. And that'll bring up fourth down. Excellent job there defensively. Gave up the underneath to the tight end on third down, and they made sure that they did their job. Got him on the ground and prevented him picking up a first down. Here we go. It's Jackson on fourth down. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 46. Again, Jackson. 
He'll get this to Flowers, left side. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37, gain of nine. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible, hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage, and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. So from the 37, here's second down and one. Here's Jackson to throw. It's caught by Aguilar. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. That is caught, Rashad Bateman. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. The Raven passing game getting in sync, another first down. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle, that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. And they run the option here on first and 10. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Give him four yards there on the first down keeper. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive could take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. Second and six from the 10. Jackson going to give this one to Edwards. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Got a man. touchdown grab and the Ravens have made it a one score game again here in the fourth so Charles they had him double covered in the end zone it still was not enough I wonder if they're thinking to themselves now two didn't work do we go for three guys on him next time because he fought through all that extra attention got himself into a great position where his quarterback felt confident enough to challenge the coverage and throw it his way what a big time play right there both by the quarterback trusting it and by him going up and getting it tucker able to connect on the extra point and now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And he'll just take a seat and the drive will begin at the 25 yard line. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And with that last touchdown, I mean, we're set up for a good finish here. Some things to consider, Charles. Obviously, it's a very close game here in the fourth quarter. Defensively, they've got all three timeouts in their back pocket. So the chess match really ramps up, doesn't it? Because in these situations, what do you do? Do you run the ball and kill the clock here? Or do you try to bury them with another score? And how about defensively? Do you use your timeouts as early as opportunity? Or wait till you hit the two-minute warning? So there's a lot going into this one. Let's see how each side goes about their strategy. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. And what do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and give the football right back because... Your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side 
and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. Allen, able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. A gain of 26 on the third down conversion. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. Another tote for the workhorse this afternoon. It's Cook. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 97 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. A run there with Cook, not going to accomplish much. Call it no gain. Second down coming up. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ball game. Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and ten. Again, it's Cook. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. Allen to throw. And that one goes incomplete on the drive. That's one he definitely normally catches. Fourth down. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football. Forces the incompletion. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to swell the lead to six. The kick by Bass is good. And that will double their lead as it's up to six. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, they're a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because <laughs> they feel a whole lot better about their position. Uh, and a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Jackson and the Ravens, here they come. Down by six, just over a minute, 40 to play. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Throwing, Jackson. They set up the screen to Hill. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. And a really nice play call there to start the drive, especially if you're a team that has a little bit of a reputation for throwing it downfield. You come out, and you think maybe you can catch them off guard a little bit, and they did. A little screen pass, back door to them, and that time worked well for a solid gain. Jackson. Shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. A couple extra defensive.
two backs out there in the dive, and because of that, really not many places to throw the football, if any. And typically, what would you want to do against that dive? Run the football. You want to run the ball, but you can't do it in this situation. Not nearly enough time on the clock. You have to really navigate against a tough defense presented against you. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Partner, they've got one chance left to keep this one going, and I think for you and me, Let's think along with their offensive coordinator now. Has to think back, cycle through every play of this contest, and remember what's worked and what has it. Because right here, he needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one alive. Here's Jackson. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Bills are going to take over in excellent field position. So they converted their first two fourth down attempts. Not there. Now they're two for three. You think maybe the offense coordinator expended a little capital on that one? <laughs> you know, when you're two for yeah. two, Got you can lobby confidence. for that third one, right? Didn't get it there. Maybe now the head coach might not be so eager to go for it as we go forward. The Bills on their way to victory now as they take the knee. Ravens going to use their third and final timeout as they get the stoppage with 65 seconds remaining. And they take a knee. Until then, this game's over. So it's a victory here for the Buffalo Bills. And it was a game where they were off and running in the first quarter, Charles, and never looked back. You know, partner, after a while, we always say the same thing, don't we? They set the tone early, right? They started fast. So I asked a few of my horse racing friends, do you have a term for me that we can use to cover that? And they said, yeah. When a horse breaks out like that, you say he caught a flyer out of the gate. And that's exactly what this team did today. I mean, they jumped out there, jumped on them, and we're never headed.